Okay. So you open up the can, flip it, purge the line of GC gas. Remove the caps on the service port. goes on the low side vapor line the big thick line right here low side vapor line mm. All right. and the red goes on the high side liquid line Got liquid going through this line and vapor going to the other line. It is very high on refrigerant. Very high. All right, let's see how all this goes. So it's a TXB subcool of eight. So that's what we're trying to reach here. We're trying to reach an eight subcool. So we want to take a pipe temp on the liquid line, so just tape that on there. Turn this thing on. We got a pipe temp of 93. 92, 93. So, no gauge in the world has MO99 saturation on the high side. You know, this one has R22 saturation and R134A and R404A. So, we have to use an app. And, um, the number code for MO99 is R438A. And what we're doing is we're putting in the PSI pressure on the high side into this app, which is just ridiculously high. It has 250, 55, 60, 65, 265, 265, which brings us to a hundred and sixteen saturation. Now, when you set up this app for a subcool reading, which is what we're doing, you want to have it on the right refrigerant level, you want to have it on gauge, and you want to have it on bubble. If you click it from bubble to do, you know, that's when you're checking the charge for superheat, not subcool. And then you'll be having this pipe temp on the vapor line, not the liquid line. So, but we're, we're doing bubble and that's for subcool. So 116 saturation. And then we're gonna take that 116 minus the pipe temp, which is sitting around 92 right now. So 116 minus 92, and we got a 24 subcool. So this thing is overcharged need to take out refrigerant, big time. Okay, we got a PSI reading of 225. 225. 
and that's uh, on the app. Type in 225, and that's 104 saturation for MO99, 104 minus a pipe temp, a liquid line pipe temp. of 94 and we get a 10 subcool and 8 is required indoor TXV subcooling number 8 so it could be plus or minus uh, 3 of 8 I like to go a little bit over so that there is a good charge it actually went up a little bit there to 230 so that's not going to make a big difference we'll just type in 230 here the TXV adjust, adjust so it, it changes a little bit so that's a 106 106 and the pipe temp is still 94 so we're at a 12 I'll see it drop pipe temp dropped to 93 and that dropped down to 225 again. So yeah, we're reading a look, we're reading a 12 here. So it's still slightly overcharged, very slightly. No, I take that back. It's actually still sitting at 11. It's good. This is about as high as you want it. Got hot air coming out. That's a good charge.